Hope y'all to start cruising and today. I'm gonna teach you how to dress like a man or look like a man, regardless of what age you are. Head to toe. Now, start off with your hair. Now, you want your hair. It, it, it determines the whole outfit. Cause if your hair ain't right, it throws off your whole outfit. You got on a, a two hundred dollar suit with a two dollar haircut. Your hair gotta look right, man. Get a get a brush. Get get a brush. Keep your hair low if you don't wanna you don't feel like taking care of. Keep it low. Get you a brush. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Keep it neat, man. Cause your hair your hair no matter if you got dreads, waves, mohawk, whatever, keep it neat, keep it together, cause it it determines it it complements your outfit. So make sure your hair is brushed. Now your lip, put some chapstick on. I mean, I ain't looking at nobody's lips, but come on now. If you talking to somebody, they see your lips all chapped and cracked. I mean, this nobody wants to see that. Now, on to the outfits now. I'm going to start off with the tie. A tie, no matter what type of dress clothes you got on, to me, a tie sets off the outfit. I'm telling you. I'd rather wear a, tie, a shirt that you can wear a tie with than a regular dress shirt. You know, some shirts out there they make where a tie doesn't go with it. I'd rather wear a shirt like this that's able to be worn with a tie. Because a tie, it just sets off the whole outfit to me. I don't know what it is, but while I'm speaking of ties, I'm going to show how to tie a tie. Now, see, all mine, I always keep all my ties tied up. I keep them all tied up so I ain't got to do all that in the morning. I keep them all tied up. And people, oh, you got all them ties. I got a tie every day for every day of the week. Every day of the month, I got a whole lot of ties. No, I, I just like ties. I like collecting ties. It just, it looks professional to me. And I'm untied completely. Now, see how I got this. The long, the thicker end in my left hand and the skinny end in my right hand. Same thing now. See how it is? Pull this up. It should come up just like this. This end over the shorter end. Bring it through the middle. Come up through the middle. Like that. Lay it down. Now it's like this. Bring the thick piece over to the right. Take it over to the left. Come back to the right. And that should look like this. Now go back through the middle again. Back through the middle and over. Now, it should be a hole right here. Right there. Go through, open it up. Open it up right there. Take it through. Take the thick end through. See that? So it should come out. I don't know how it look now, but <laughs> yeah. You lay it down. Then you done. You tight to tighten it up. Do this piece. Do it like that. And then that's all you got. Alright now, so I showed you how to tie a tie now. With the ties, now you can pretty much match the pants off a specific color in the tie. Now, in this tie you got like violet gray, dark gray. Now you can get some dark gray pants and it can match this tie. Or with this tie. You can get some gray, some light gray pants or some black pants. That's how I was taught to um, go off of it because the pants I got on now is brown but it got blue in this tie. It got dark brown, medium brown, and it got blue in it. This tie, I mean it goes with anything. It's kind of like common sense. You don't want, I mean, who would get some pink pants? I hope they don't sell no pink pants nowhere, but with this tie you can get some gray, some light gray pants that'll go with it. That's how you match. 
You don't just want to put no yellow tie on with some brown pants. It ain't going to match. Or a blue tie with some brown pants. And, you know, some people, I be seeing people on the news station, they be having any type of tie on with any type of suit. It do not be matching at all. I don't know who told them they was matching, but that's how you do it. It's a nice tie too. Get some black pants and a red shirt or a black, a black shirt. It don't matter. That's how you match it up. Now, when you tie a tie, it's like tying your shoe. Once you taught how to, once you learn how to tie your tie, ain't no way you should be able to forget it. I mean, if you forgot how to tie your shoe, then something ain't right. But from head to toe, when you start over, make sure you keep your hair in good condition, keep it intact, keep your hair low, keep getting the hair cut, take care of your hair. It's a lot of stuff. Don't keep your hair dry. It's a lot of stuff out there for your hair. If you don't want to put nothing heavy on your head, get you some shine and stuff. At least make it shine. Pink gloss about lustres. Get you something to make your hair shine. You ain't got to have it looking dry. Keep your, keep your breath smelling good. Brush your teeth. Don't let your lips get chapped. Drink some water. Wear a tie. Get some nice shoes, some nice pants. Get your attitude together. A lot, of, a lot has to, your dress has a lot to do with your attitude sometimes, in my opinion. And your dress, your dress, your attire has to do a lot with how people perceive you, how people judge you. I mean, not that you should care what people think about you in the first place, but stand out. That's why I dress up to stand out. I mean, this a lot of people across the world dress up, but I'm black, so I won't I won't go to school and see too many black people dressed up like me. So, or dressed up at all for that matter. Back in high school, I used to dress up. I never seen nobody dress up. It went even because I took accounting in high school. In the class, you had the a specific day you had to dress up. Other than that, nobody dressed up. Besides the day of dressing up, I dressed up anyway, just to be different. So I got more respect than everybody did too. So it's all, I mean, you don't have to dress like this, but that's just me. I don't, I don't dress like this all the time, but most of the time I do. So, how you dress is how you look at. So, I don't know. That's how that's how you that's how you get respect based off how you dress. You don't want to, you ain't walking around with your pants sagging and hanging off your behind. People gonna perceive you that way. Dress looking like a lawyer, you gonna be perceived that way. You dress like a rapper, you gonna be perceived that way. So, but if you don't care what nobody think, do what you gotta do. This is Sir Cruz, man, and I'm out of here.